Alrighty, hello and welcome to get out of here. <laughs> welcome to my um Astoria tutorial here on how to actually mod your character into being a different stage for a dragon. I actually have this question a lot. I don't know why, but I just do. So people are like, oh, how do you make yourself an ancient? How do you make yourself an adult when you're a hatchling? Well, um it's just a bit of file moving around basically. But um first things first you want to know is the fact that, well, for one, my mic isn't as good as it used to be because this is actually a built-in mic on my new computer, and my old one had a different different Ada line mic, and that one was kind of better for audio um, quality. But, oh well, I, at least I'm talking louder, so you probably might be able to hear me better than the other videos I made, where I was kind of like, whispering. Just whispering. But, um, anyways, the thing you really want to know is the fact that you can't fly if you're a hatchling in my... Yeah, whatever. My power cord just fell. Um, if you're a hatchling and you're being modded into an adult. Because the, the, yeah, your stage is actually server side, so you can't just skip everything and become an adult, even though I'm pretty sure you just, I just wouldn't even support that and wouldn't be doing this video if you did. But um, it just makes you look like it, so you know how you're going to look when you're better, so when you're bigger. So it's not like, oh, what am I going to look like when I'm an adult? Am I going to be retarded? So yeah. Anyways, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to locate your Astaria root folder. Mine is in Computer, OS, Program Files, M86, then right here, Astaria. Might be different if your version of Astaria is old, it might be Horizons or whatever, because that's what it used to be called, but I'm pretty sure everyone who has Horizons still has to do this. Anyways, click here, open your resources here, and then go to Entities, Characters. And as you see in here, these are the dragon files. Dragon underline U, dragon A underline U, and dragon J underline U. Um, dragon underscore U is adult, makes you it's the um, adult model. Dragon A underline U is the ancient model, and dragon J underline U is the hatchling model. So for depending on which one you want to you want to look like, you just select on it. So I say let's be an adult, because adults are just between. So, oh wait. So you want to go back to your story root folder here, and then you want to go to resources, underline override, and I have a lot of mods here, sorry. And your your folder most likely be is like empty or with only a few in it. I have a lot. But, um, you're gonna right click on it. Oh yeah, actually you wanna yep. when you when you get the characters, you wanna copy it, and then you go back to your so not resources, underline override, right click on an empty space, paste. You know, I might need permission. And then you see your files here. So, remember how we said earlier, Dragon J underline U is a hatchling, Dragon A is ancient, Dragon just, just Dragon is adult? Well, you want to want to rename it to what stage your character is at. Let's, so, ours is a hatchling. So, let's make mine just Dragon J underline U. See, now it's, now it's just that. And that'll actually replace the hatchling model so you'll look like an adult. And that's it, really. Just open up your Astaria and log right in and you should look like an adult. Let me see, let me just show you what it looks like. Um, I have a different launcher because I just actually downloaded a skin for it. That's not really hard to do. But um, let's see, Zakari, there he is. Um, actually should have patched, well. Anyways, just hopefully this logs in quickly. It should. Nope, it's not. Lovely. I might have to just cut until we get back because it's taking ages. <laughs> <sighs> the reason why I'm using bandy can is because I could not figure out how to use fraps for the life of me. No matter what I did, I could not get it to record the desktop. Even if I went into Minecraft and recorded that for a second, then minimized it, I just couldn't get it to record the desktop. I don't know why. Just even though I got the, I checked the um, monitor desktop button thing, Major. But oh well, just this is this will still work, I guess. It, well, hopefully, it's not too low quality. I think if it was. Alright, here we are. Now that I star is actually starting up a bit, sort of. It's kinda it's a little, there we go. I have loaded screen off, so that's why it looks all weird. Um whatever tabs. Um just wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, my level's loaded. I guess my craft is much higher than my adventure. And there oh wait, wait for it. Of course I logged out in Drulk. Oh wait, I'm in first person. Hello, and there we go. This character is actually a hatchling. 
Right now he's only level 21 as you can see up here. So he can't fly. Me just prove why is this freezing up? Why? <laughs> why do you do this to me? You're mean. I don't know why, but I started has been crashing a lot on me lately. It happens to a lot of people. I have no clue why. Just does actually my task bar froze too. <sighs> um, alt tab. Yeah, I can alt tab out my desktop. Oh nope, no, I can't. Never mind. One second. Task manager. Yeah, not responding. Of course, the instant I log in. But anyways, you get you get my point. This character is a hatchling, and he cannot fly right now. But you can see him as an adult and how he look like as an adult. So yeah, that's basically all there is. And if you want to, oh, I'll try to remove it in process. Okay. If you want to remove it, just go to computer, OS, program files, Historia, da -da -da, wherever yours is, and then just delete the file. Simply delete it. And that's it. That's just how you remove it. Now look like at Hatchling again. You see, it's simple as that, really. Um, I hope you enjoyed, though, because this video took me forever to freaking make because nothing ever wanted to work. And I started crashed anyway, so. But yeah, I hope you like it, and I hope this works for you or whatever. It also works the other way around. You can make an ancient a hatchling or whatnot, so feel free to screw around with it. Um, oh yeah, no, you'll be the only one who can see this, so don't go around saying, Hey, look, I'm bigger, and people will be like, WTF, you're not bigger, you're bigger, you're still hatchling, you're still tiny, so. <laughs> well, actually, but yeah, you, get, you will get the flying sound effects. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed, and... If you want to find me on Astaria and ask me something if you need help, whatever, I've been playing for two years. I know basically the tricks of the trade. Dragons, anyways. Um, my character names are Rector, Takara, um, Zakari, Sayaria, Dorokane, and Arcier, who's a Saris. And that's on Order, and I'm Rector with two R's on Chaos. But mainly I'm more on Order, I'm never on Chaos. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and good gaming.